Is tourism dying in Israel? In 2019, Israeli cities were consistently listed as some of the fastest growing travel destinations in the world. But since then, Israel's become one of the most expensive countries on the planet to visit and to live in. And it's driving tourism to cheaper nations in the region. Just take a look at these numbers. In June alone, 1.8 million Israelis traveled to Turkey and 1.4 million traveled to Greece. The bottom line is that hundreds of thousands of Israelis have opted to travel abroad instead of finding local tourism destinations to enjoy with their families. And most of them say that it's because of the money. So how much cheaper is a vacation in a place like Greece, which is just a two hour flight away? Let's take a look at how much one day costs in each country, starting with accommodation. Now the average cost of a double hotel room in Greece is $86 a night. If you're trying to budget, the average nightly cost is around 46 bucks. And if you want something more luxurious, you're looking at around $198. So how does that compare to Israel? Well, it's almost double. The average cost of a hotel room in Israel is $175 a night. Going budget, it's gonna cost you around 106 bucks, and a luxury room averages at $315. What about food? Well, in Greece, you can expect to spend an average of around $40 a day per person if you're going out for every meal. In Israel, you're looking at an average of $60 a day. What about all the other costs, like transportation and activities? In Greece, it costs about $30 per person on average for local transportation. In Israel, you're looking at about $50 a day. Now, when it comes to activities, you can expect to spend around $25 per person a day on museum and attraction tickets in Greece. But in Israel, you're looking at around 30 bucks daily. So when you do the math, a vacation in Greece is gonna cost you around 181 bucks a day. In Israel, you're looking at $315. That's about 75% more a day to vacation in Israel versus Greece, which is why even Israelis are willing to spend the extra money on a flight to travel abroad because they feel like they're getting more bang for their buck. The question is what this means for Israel. Well, ultimately, the Israeli government needs to start focusing on establishing long-term plans to bolster domestic tourism, Otherwise, locals are going to keep on spending their money abroad instead of supporting their own economy.